Hey, what's going on everyone? JS Cards here coming at you with an episode of Yugi News. It's been a minute since I've done one of these, but today we're going to go over some new announcements and products coming out in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! So starting off with something I'm super excited for is OTS Pack 18. We got the reveal list yesterday and this is one of the best OTS packs that I've ever seen. I don't remember when we had one this good. So first of all, we have confirmed our ultimate rares of the set. I'm on Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization's site, by the way. Uh, they cover a bunch of different things. They're a great resource for Yu-Gi-Oh! news and leaks, stuff like that. But our ultimate rares. We already knew about Fusion Destiny, which I think is a pretty solid choice, especially with destroyer phoenix running around we have divine arsenal aa zeus and ecclesia the virtuous i think these are really good options i like that they use some generic cards such as zeus which is played in a variety of different decks so if people want to max out their rarity they could now the interesting thing though is i guess they can't really max rarity this if they do get the ultimate because both of these do have starlight printings and there's some controversy I saw on Twitter. Some people were mad about that. Some people didn't really care. I love the ultimate rare, so I'm kind of just neutral about it. Like, I guess if you have starlights, you don't need to get ultimates. If you can't afford starlights, they're hard to find on top of that. This is another great option if you do want to rarity bump what you currently have. And also just from a collector's point of view, it would be nice to have an ultimate of one of these in your trade binder or in your collection binder. I think these are three solid contenders for ultimate rare slots though in a set like this, but I'd like to know what cards you would have liked to see as the ultimate rares or what cards you hope to see in the ultimate rare slot in the future. Moving on though, I'm not sure which of all these are going to be supers. I believe Dasher is going to be super, so it's nice that we're going to be getting a newer reprint of Destiny Hero Dasher. I have a rare, and I don't know if those are still like $20, but like a month or so ago, they were really high in price. The rares and commons are still worth a lot, so getting a super rare version will be nice to rarity bump it, and this should be easier to get. Baby Sarasaurus, if that's going to be a super rare, I think that's pretty well deserved as well. Kagamucha Knight, Contact C, Token Collector, if that is a super rare, I think that's a fantastic choice. All of these cards listed are just so good. We have, uh, I don't know how to say the name, Quagar Hercules. This was a really rare card. Hasn't seen a reprint in forever. I don't know how many printings it has, maybe one or two. So this could be its very first reprint. I'm not 100% sure, but this card was super hard to find and now hopefully will be much easier to obtain. Phantom Knights of Breaksword, this already has a bunch of different hollow printings, so it's just kind of meh. Then we have the Insector Link, uh, Pico Falena, I don't know how to say the name, but um, I think, did this recently get a super rare printing? I thought this did, but with Insector support recently coming out and Bee Troopers and Insect Link being a deck, having this along with the Hercules uh, insect monster. Those are pretty awesome choices to have. Monk of the Tenyi. Then we have Manju the 10,000 Hands. Uh, we have the Nordic Beast monster. A few different Nordic cards here. Phantom Knights of Silent Boots. Destiny Hero Celestial. Vampire Familiar. Vampire Retainer. Some in incantations. That's kind of interesting. Along with Ghost Trick Angel of Mischief. The Nordic Ascendant. And then we have Dark Magical Circle and Ghost Trick Break. So some of these are kind of meh in my opinion. It seems like every OTS pack has some cards where we're, like, where we're like, really? They printed that? And then on top of that, the token has not been announced yet. Fingers crossed it is a Sword Soul token. And also I'd really like to see um, the Monk of the Tenyi as a super rare. If that's the case, I will definitely be picking up those and the token because I play Sword Soul. But yeah, overall, I think this is a really solid OTS lineup. Like I said, this is one of the best OTS packs I've seen in a long time. So what do you guys think of this? Are you hyped? What cards are you hoping to pull? Let me know down in the comments. The other thing I wanted to talk about in this video was some Sky Striker OCG exclusive items. 
including a Duelist binder portfolio and a Sky Striker playmat with some new art. So, so far, they haven't said anything about this coming to the TCG. I don't know if it ever will. This is for official tournament shops in the OCG that have very close ties with Konami. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's just a few hand-selected stores in the OCG. It sounds like not many places will be getting these, but I have some better pictures here over on Yu-Gi-Oh! News Twitter. This is the binder. It is holographic, but this is this must be the front and the back. We have some awesome artwork with uh, Kagari, and Rose in the background, and then we have Ray holding Rose, who looks like she was really wounded in battle or something crazy happened. I don't know, but Ray looks super like serious, and of course, Rose here is beaten, destroyed in battle or something. I don't know what happened, but really cool artwork. And if it's a holographic binder, I think that's gonna look fantastic. On top of that, we have the playmat and this is a playmat tube, which is kind of like this pink to blue gradient color, some black in the middle. I think that looks really nice. And then the artwork on the playmat is the same as the one side of the binder. I just like playing Sky Strikers, so I thought I would cover this for any of my fellow Sky Striker fans out there. I have a feeling this won't make its way over to the TCG. If it does, I'll definitely be buying this set. Or by chance, if you like Sky Strikers and you happen to be scrolling through eBay or something like that, and you find this once it's out and it's a decent price, I would suggest picking it up. I don't know how easy that will be, but you know, it might be kind of one of those things where it could be worth it if you do if you do find one for sale somewhere. But both of these products are coming out March 26th. If you're in the OCG, hopefully you can find a store that's carrying these items and pick them up for yourself or trade them away for something else that you need to. A Sky Striker fan that's out there, I'm sure you'll find one. So yeah, let me know what you think of these products. I just thought I'd make a quick video talking about both of these because they're just two things that I think are really good. I'm a fan of Sky Strikers. I think this OTS pack that's coming out soon is an awesome selection of cards. I think they did a really good job of selecting, you know, some of these more hyped cards. And if you want to see videos similar to this in the future covering Yu-Gi-Oh news or new products coming out, let me know down in the comments. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay tuned for more Yu-Gi-Oh news related videos and deck profiles and even some pack openings in the near future. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out and have a good one.